Hi, welcome to the Kern Laser Sheet Metal Cutting Information Guide. My name is Eric Johnson and I'm going to be looking at seven key questions when cutting sheet metal with a laser today. Do you have a need for laser cutting metal parts? Well, with the laser, you can cut prototypes very, very fast and very, very easy. You can also do production runs long runs, big sheets of your metal parts using a production machine. You can do automotive. You can also do aerospace parts. You can also do some very precise medical. You can also do signage, including brackets, signs, engraving, all with the CO2 laser. Today we want to look at these questions. What types of metals can be cut? What type of lasers are used? What wattage of laser do I need? What thickness of metal can I cut? What assist gases are used? And what laser machine is needed? And lastly, what software can be used? To begin with, what types of metal can I cut? The material on our list here is going to be stainless steel, carbon steel, galvanized steel, aluminum, brass, and titanium. As you can see first on the list, the stainless steel can be cut either with nitrogen or oxygen. The nitrogen will make this shiny, polished edge. You can also cut carbon steel very fast, clean, no burrs. Galvanized steel can be cut as well as aluminum. You can also cut brass, very high tolerance, precise small parts, as well as titanium. Next, what type of lasers are used? We are looking at CO2 laser only. We are not discussing YAG lasers or fiber lasers, but we're cutting here with CO2 lasers. One of the lasers is Kern Technologies lasers. The other laser we use is by Coherent. What wattage of laser do I need when cutting sheet metal? Depending on the thickness and the speed of your cut, the laser wattage can vary from 150 watts, 250 watts, up to 400 watts, the high performance laser. What thickness of metal can I cut on each of these laser wattages? To begin with, how thick can I cut using a 150 watt laser? Well, with stainless steel, it'll be 75 thousandths of an inch. And on mild carbon steel, it'll be 90 thousandths of an inch. Moving up to the 250 watt, how thick can I cut? Starting on the top of the list, stainless steel, is going to be at 80 thousandths. Carbon steel, a little bit thicker, at an eighth of an inch. You can now cut entry level aluminum thickness at one millimeter or 40 thousandths of an inch. And you can also cut a half a millimeter of brass. With the high performance 400 watt, the maximum thickness on stainless steel will be eighth of an inch. Carbon steel is going to be 3 sixteenths of an inch. Aluminum is now at 60 thousandths of an inch. And brass is at 40 thousandths of an inch. An overview of all the thicknesses, looking at the 150 watt, the 250 watt, and the 400 watt down at the bottom, you can see each one in the yellow chart, the green chart in the middle, and also the blue chart at the end. It'll show the steel the carbon steel, the aluminum, and the brass. And notice in the yellow chart that the brass and the aluminum is missing as the 150 watt laser will not cut aluminum or brass. If you move into the green, you can now see that there's a, a small aluminum bar. There's also a small brass bar. And that bars move up as you move to the blue 400 watt laser. You can also see that the uh, tall chart in the yellow, the carbon steel, is at the highest in millimeters over on the left side is at just approaching five millimeters using the 400 watt laser. 
The next question to consider is what assist gases are used? When cutting very thin metal, you can use compressed air. When you get into thicker metals, you'll want to use oxygen. When you get into stainless steel cutting, you can also apply nitrogen as your assist gas. This nitrogen assist gas will help get that shiny polished edge on your cut. You will connect the assist gas in the rear of the machine with a quick disconnect fitting as you see in this arrow. Whether you're using compressed air or oxygen or nitrogen, you'll simply disconnect it and reconnect it at this fitting. Over on the picture on the right, you'll see the blue airline hose. That's where your air, oxygen, or nitrogen will be coming through your nozzle. Moving on, what laser machine is needed to cut sheet metal? On the Kern system, you need the metal cutting option. So what's included in this option? First, you'll get a height follower sensor. This electronic sensor works along with the Z-axis motor. These two follow the sheet of metal everywhere on the complete table. Also, you have a metal grid work table. Here's a photograph of it. You can see the spikes and the surface area is much less when you're cutting on sheet metal. Also, you have metal cutting optics. You have a beam delivery path of lenses and mirrors that are different when you're cutting non-metal materials. Lastly, what software can be used? Let's consider the included software. Corel Draw, AutoCAD Lite, or Adobe Illustrator can be installed on the computer. These are the design and layout software that communicate directly to KCAM. KCAM is the laser system software for setting the speed and the power of your laser cutting or engraving. Next, considering the optional software. You can use a nesting program like Sigma Nest or ProNest as additional features for software. I hope this was helpful as we looked at seven key questions regarding sheet metal cutting. If you have any additional questions, please log on to our website or call us at 888-660-2755.